Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, April 8th. <laughs> I have to look at my calendar. Excuse me, I have a lozenge in my mouth. This is rude, but I'm going to take it out so it doesn't bother you. <laughs> Set it over there. I have a little scratchy throat this morning. Anybody else suffering from allergies? Raise your hand. I'm going to turn the comments on here. If you're here, say hello. Love to know where you're from. Hey, Carol. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy, um, what is it called? Where the sun is going to go in front of the moon. The moon is going to go in front of the sun today. Um, if you're in, the, in an area of the country, Carol, are you in an area of the country that you're going to be able to see much of it? Oh, no, you have a stomach bug. Those are the worst. Oh, feel better. There's nothing worse, is there? Um, thanks for joining me, even though you're not feeling well. Um, this is April the 8th, and during the month of April, I'm sharing different fun fold cards. So um, let's get started, because I want to get done in time to watch the... Um... You guys, why is that escaping my brain, what it's called? The Eclipse. The eclipse. Okay, I'm going to move my camera back here. It's going to kind of be in my face. I apologize for that. And um, I've got to look for my eclipse glasses. I have some from the last one. Of course, this is like a total eclipse. I, I think here in the Kansas City area, we are um, getting a 90%, I think, my grandson told me. We're not getting a total eclipse, he said, <laughs> but I think we're going to get 90%. Um, so you will be able to see it where you're, you are, Carol. Um, it's, it's just quite a thing, isn't it? I have some, I'm going to put my, sorry for my arm there. There we go. I have some glasses from the last time, and I think they're in my scrapbook. I keep a bin for things I want to scrap. So that's how long I've <laughs> collected things to scrap because when was the last eclipse? Anyway, um, I think I have a pair in there. Otherwise, I need to run out and um, grab some. My husband grabbed some from Sonic yesterday. We had to watch our kids little kiddos for a few hours yesterday evening and he went out and got them some dinner and um sonic um i don't know if you guys have sonic in your neck of the woods i think they're countrywide in the u.s um for dinner and um if you bought this certain drink you got a free pair so he got a pair <laughs> a pair of um eclipse glasses from the sonic um, but I don't want any, I think it was a mixture of ice cream and slushy. I do not want that. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can dig mine out. And if not, I think they say you can get them at Lowe's. Um, hi Kim. She's on Facebook today working on some office stuff. Oh my gosh. I need to work on some office stuff. Um, okay. These are the cards in my class this Thursday. Um, my card cl card making class, and I have one at one o'clock and one at six thirty. And today is the last day to register for that class because I have to cut all the things. So you, so I have a kit waiting and ready um, for you. But they are. I have a couple of fun folds. Here's one that we're gonna do. Oops, goes like that. Our card today is a little similar to this one. Um, and then here's a fun fold. I don't know if you can kind of see, but it stands up and there's some, some cuts in there and a little, little mountain fold, really cute. This one is not a fun fold. It's just a spring card. I kind of went with an April showers theme for this month's cards. And then I just threw in this little, um, gift card holder. One of my customers said she'd like to take a class in or make one in class. So 
we're making this little gift card holder and I did all happy birthday cards. If you come to the class, you can choose whatever sentiments you want um, that I have available, but um, these work really well for happy birthday. So today is the last day to register and you can do that over on the plaidpoodle.com. I've got a whoop right up there. <laughs> um, and um, there's a link for classes and events. And you can, um, ooh, that's really blurry. I hope that doesn't do that anymore. Okay. Um, you can do that over there. Love to have you. Now, um, I also wanted to mention Last Chance products. Tomorrow, the discounts begin. So the 9th of April. So I wanted to point that out. Um, and I have some of these uh, lists I'll put a link to the list in the description after today so it'll be easy for you just click on it and you can look at the list but there are several things with um, up to 60% off some things so um, you might want to look at that today and the ones with disc the discounted ones well a lot of them will disappear very quickly so I just wanted to mention that these are things that will be retiring from the annual catalog as well as our, I'm going to shake the camera, sorry, as well as our mini catalog. So um, tomorrow, I don't know if that begins at 12.01 Mountain Time tonight, but um, I will say that a lot of things have already, they're already gone. It's while supplies last. And people went in and have ordered the, the discounts though do not start till tomorrow so um, like here the Easter Bunny stamp set 50% um, off woo -woo. Um, just there's just some big discounts and I just wanted to warn you all that those will go very quickly so um, get your list ready and, and uh, ready to go for that okay the card. Oh, here it is. Boop. This is a retiring bundle. The card we're making today, the little monkey bundle. And it is the stamp set. And I do not believe the bundle, this is any of this is discounted, but it is going away and it's so cute. It comes with the stamp set and the little matching punch. I always love a punch. It makes things really quick and easy. And this is the card we're going to make today. And it is a fun fold. I got this from the Front Porch uh, Stamper. Um, I thought it was so cute and you could use it for um, a lot of different things. And then we're going to put one of my little wobbly things on there. Um, but you open the card and then you open it again and there's your sentiment. So isn't that cute? Um, I want to make one with our coffee set. And I'm, I'm hoping today to have time to do that because I thought it would be really cute to either put the the coffee pot, let me pull these real quick, or one of the little cups and on a wobble. <laughs> I thought the coffee pot would be cute so it would kind of look like the um, coffee was pouring, but um, I think I've shown you guys these before if you've tuned in recently, but um, these are the samples I have. I did not make all of these. Stephanie Alton, I think, made this one really cute. It has a little um, post-it note that's fun to keep on your desktop. Um, this one, I'm not sure. Um, I got these at the convention. This one um, I did at a shoebox swap. This is the card that I created for the shoebox swap, and it, it has room for a gift card. It's a double pocket, or actually... Yeah, it's a double pocket, not a triple pocket. And then I has a little bookmark. But anyway, I thought it would be really cute to put um, either the mug or the little coffee pot right there in the window and have it wobble. <laughs> but I wanted to use a retiring item so you guys could see it um, before it goes away and if you want a chance to grab it. Also, um, if you're on my mailing list tomorrow, you will get, I haven't completed the instruction sheet yet, but you'll get a full PDF copy with uh, diagrams for cutting and scoring. Um, this will be your free Tuesday tutorial. And there is a link in the description that you can click on and sign up for those if you're not on my VIP mailing list. It's free. And every Tuesday, I send you um, 
a PDF with a free project. So um, a step-by-step -step instruction. So it'll include the instructions for today's card. Hey, um, I missed a comment from Kat, I think. Oh, hi, Cindy. Thank you. You got me live. Oh, Kat, don't worry about being late. I'm just, just chewing the fat here. <laughs> Um, Kim said, I did not wait on a few of those items because I knew they'd be gone before the sale. Yes. Um, Kim is talking about, if you just tune in the, um, I don't know where I threw it, the retired list. Tomorrow, everything, it, it begins, here it is. The discounts begin tomorrow, but I know a lot of things are already gone because people see that they're going away and they... They grabbed them. So um, I just wanted to give you fair warning that things will go quickly. They will go quickly. So if there's anything on the list that you want, grab it. Okay, our card. This card. Um, it's a little smaller than a normal A2 size card. And I did mention that I got this from the Front Porch Stamper. I thought it was so cute. You're going to start with a three and a quarter. Here's my little... Um, guide that I typed up and this will be in the PDF if you're on the mailing list three and a quarter by 11 so it's not quite a half a sheet of, um, of uh, cardstock and then we're gonna I scored it at five and a half so right in the middle so it's gonna fold right in half then what I did is I took our this is from the basics um, I should have pulled all three of them the basics, let me get the name right. I'm trying to learn how to do this without sticking my arm in the middle. The basics 3D embossing folders. And you get this crosshatch one, which I use quite a bit. They're three dimensional. You get this little um, bubble one. It's not really a polka dot, it's more of a bubble. And you get this little, um, I think they look like poinsettia, but it's a floral. Could be like a um, sunflower. Anyway, you get all three of those. And that is an online exclusive. And the, the link, for, link for everything I'm using today is in the description. So if you're interested, just um, click on that and you can see all the info. Okay, so what I did, I wanted it to look like a little bit of a jungle. I wanted a little texture. So I'm going to use this. <laughs> um, I have no fingernails. Cat, yes, you could make it larger. You could make it full size. I kind of liked the size, though, um, just because... I don't have to decorate as much. There isn't as much um, um, surface to fill. And like I said, I just kind of followed the directions on the kit, not the um, front porch stampers directions. Okay, so I'm gonna run this through. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna do it like this. And I put the plate somewhere. If you're using our um, cut and emboss machine, you just need the platform number one. And these are 3D embossing folders and platform number four. And when you get the um, machine, all of these um, platforms come with it. If you're using your own or a different brand, um, you'll just, you know how you have to play with the shims and all that to see how you would do the 3D. Um, embossing filters. Everybody has their own little quirks, right? Okay, so I did the little cross hatch, and then real quick, we're going to cut a circle. Now, I have a two and three eighths inch 
um, circle punch, which if you have that, it works except it's not in the exact center of the card front. There's going to be a little bit of extra on one side or the other depending on how you stick it in there. If that doesn't bother you, use your punch. It's easy. Um, but that bothers me because <laughs> I'm weird. So I am going to cut a circle with my um, um, stylish shapes circle die. And I use the second from the largest. And this way I can put it right in the center of the front of the card. But like I said, I tried the circle punch, which is what the front porch stamper used. And it, it's just a hair off. And because I'm weird, that bothered me. <laughs> but I bet anybody receiving the card wouldn't even notice. But I noticed and it bothered me. So, so that's why I'm using the die. I'm a little, I'm a little off. What do they say? I'm a little extra. Okay, so you're going to use your platform one, platform two, and two of your um, three plates to do a, um, just the, the die cut. And you guys, I just screwed up because I cut through the whole thing. We might have to do this all over again. Yes, we are. Look what I did. But you know what? That's going to be covered up. I think we'll be okay. I'll send this one, into, one to my grandkids and they won't even know. There we go. You do not want to cut through both layers as I just attempted to do. I'm just sitting here chatting too much. I need to shut up. Kat says, oh, but that would help use up your DSP. Yes, yes. We talked about that last week, didn't we, about the hoarding of the DSP. I am definitely a paper hoarder. All right, so you don't want to cut it through both layers, just the one. Fortunately, that didn't cut. Oh, whoops. Okay, but we're going to fix that because now what we're going to do is we're going to take a five and a fourth by six inch. So you're going to cut, um, pay attention to your pattern. Um, you want it to be six inches across and five and a fourth inches long because we're going to glue it right here. And that's gonna, that's gonna hold my little boo boo together. I was gonna start all over, but I I think this will be fine. And we scored it at three. It's six six inches across, five and a fourth down. We scored it at three. And I thought this looked jungleies. Um, this is from their retiring. I'm using a lot of our retiring project products because I just wanted to show you since the sale starts tomorrow. These are the Brights 6x6 Designer Series papers. So you get a collection of different patterns. Um, these are the Brights collection. We have uh, color families at Stampin' Up. There's the Subtles, the Regals, the Brights, and the Neutrals. And these are the Brights. Don't you love that color? It's my favorite. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm using this one because I thought it looked like kind of bamboo in the jungle, right? Okay, so we're going to glue that, and I'm going to just use some um, multi-purpose liquid glue because I want to hold this thing together. My boo-boo. So we're going to put that right in the center. And here you go, Kat. We're using up some designer series paper. Five and a fourth by six. So you could get uh, four 
if you were using a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, you could make four of these cards out of a 12 by 12. So there is the beginning of that. Now I wanted it to look really jungly. <laughs> so I've got a piece of one and a half, I believe, one and a half by three and a fourth, because our card is three and a fourth inches. And I'm going to take a scrap paper and I'm going to use a stamp from the little monkey set, this little leaf right here. And I'm just going to stamp that on there. These kind of remind me, this leaf kind of reminds me of a palm leaf for Easter. I could use, use that stamp for an Easter card. And then I'm just going to stamp it on here a few times randomly. And we'll fill in this a little bit. I'm using Memento ink, um, the Tuxedo Black, because I'm going to color with our Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol markers, and you always want to use um, Memento ink, otherwise it would um, blur. Okay, we're going to color this really quickly. I am using some granny apple green and some dark old olive. I think I used the light granny apple green to just color in the leaves. I'm going to try and do this really fast and not color out of the lines so you guys aren't, I should have done this ahead of time. I um, Yesterday I was working down here in the evening, getting ready for today. And I got a call from my daughter-in-law and my little 18-month-old daughter, um, they were on the way to the emergency room, a granddaughter. And um, have you ever heard of a nursemaid's elbow? Um, hi, Kathy Garnett. Good morning. She's in Texas for the eclipse. I know I'm so excited. I don't know why, um, but I'm excited. This may be the last one I see before I'm dead. I don't know. Anyway, so I had to stop everything and go watch the big kids, the bigger kids, so she could take her and my son could take little Kennedy to the ER. They were just playing and somebody was swinging her around and I guess a nursemaid's elbow is very common, especially in toddlers where the ligament gets stuck when that arm stretches out, the ligament gets stuck in between the, the elbow bones. And they just had to pop it back in place. The doctor did, so she's fine. But we had to rush over there just so um, we could stay with the little kids, the bigger kids. Okay, then I'm gonna take some dark old olive and I'm just gonna add a little um, I'm just kind of putting some color on here, and then I'm going to blend it in in a minute. Are you all planning on um, taking a minute and going out and viewing the eclipse today? We are supposed to have a sunny day here in Kansas City, so... I think we'll be able to see what we can see. So if you can notice, I'm just kind of, I'm not really doing anything but adding a little bit of ink to those leaves. It starts to make it look a little variegated. Oh, Kathy, Old Olive is her favorite go-to color. That's fun. Um, that is old olive. This is the one I wanted, right? The light, yes. So now I'm taking, I'm coming back with the light um, uh, granny apple green, and I'm just kind of blurring those um, where I added the old olive on top. So it's not, it doesn't look like I just went on there and 
that's the beauty of the the alcohol markers you can kind of go in and kind of blur the lines and blend it that's probably why they call them stampin blends <laughs> it just gives it a little bit of um depth or is that what you would call it just makes it look a little bit more real so I don't know if the camera is picking it up but it gives it a little bit of more like there's just kind of a variegation Kat has her glasses ready I can't see what Kim said um, Kim said she'll only partially see it but she can't find her um, eclipse glasses I can't find mine either um, you get to remove a huge limb from your beautiful maple tree in the front yard that got blown into. Oh, I am so sorry. Yes, we've had some wind, haven't we, Kat? Uh, my husband was kind of hoping we got a limb that needs to be cut down, and he was he was out of town during all that wind, and he he kept asking me, "Did the limb fall?" I think he's kind of hoping it's. It needs to be taken care of. It's just kind of hanging there, and he was hoping the wind would do the job. It did not. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to glue this little, what did I say, one and a half by three and a fourth inch piece, just for some interest there, so it's not so played. And now we're going to add our little monkey, and we're just going to punch it, because we got this fun little punch. Um, I'm going to punch the body out of the um, pecan pie. And then I need his little face and ears. So I'm going to take a scrap of, this is um, Petal Pink, for his little face. And then we'll use these little circle things for his little ears. So cute. But first, I'm going to stamp his face on there. And the little monkey set has just a uh, little little face all by itself. You can you can stamp this monkey. The, um, the punch will punch out. So you can stamp an image and then punch it out. These two monkeys, um, the punch doesn't work with, but they're cute. You can fussy cut them or just stamp them on there. So let's add the little face. Kim said she's looking for her glasses. I have some somewhere, but I might have to run out and buy one of those slushy drinks from Sonic. I don't have time to run all over town looking for it, but... I would kind of like to look at it. They say you can do it. Uh, the Today Show showed how to look at it with uh, make a cereal box situation. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm that. But you can't look at it. You have to have it face anyway. It was a whole scientific experiment that I'm not in the mood to deal with. Um, I think I had his little tail going that way. So I'm going to put his little face on there. And then I'm going to add just a little boop. Boop. And we will put his ears on there. Let's try. Let's use this. This might work better. My little... I just stuck my finger in the other one. That's good. Isn't that cute? And so simple because the punch did all the work for us. Okay, and then I did add a little bow tie. I just thought that was cute. So I thought he needed something else. So I'm going to use the yellow from the Baker's Twine 3 color pack. I wonder if this is... Oop, there it goes. I wonder if this is discounted. 
I'm going to look, y'all. Because <laughs> I might be interested in buying another pack of this. Do, do, do. I don't know where it would be. It's from the um, spring catalog. Doesn't look like it. But I know, I think it's being discontinued. It has the balmy blue, the lemon lolly, and the, I believe this is flirty flamingo, maybe? I just use Baker's Twine a lot, so. I thought if it was discounted, I might grab me a couple. Like I said earlier, the discounts start tomorrow. So I don't know if that's a certain time tomorrow, midnight, mountain time. Everything kind of is mountain time because Stampin' Up! is based in Utah. Um, so, but I will tell you, <laughs> there are people, <laughs> not me, <laughs> but there are people who will wait up all night to, to order. Um, and the discounted stuff will go very quickly. Um, also the in color, the retiring in colors will go very quickly if they're not gone already. I haven't checked. Um, so if there's something you just really, really, really want, be aware of that and order sooner rather than later. Okay, and normally I just like to put a little dot of blue for these things because I don't like my mini glue dot to show. If you're patient enough to wait for it to dry, the glue works really well. So cute. Okay, and then I use my little wobbles, and I didn't, I don't think I put the link to these, but I will. I got these in, at Amazon. I don't know if these are the mini ones, or you get a whole package. I've had these forever. And they have these, um, I'm going to stick it to the monkey first. Little paper backings, and they're, they're sticky. Once you take the backing off, I just thought it would be really cute to have that little wobble, little wobble. And then I have the hardest time. I wish I had fingernails, but my fingernails are so weak and non-existent there we go and I think this little thing even pops up there we go okay so then I guess stuck him and I kind of put him at an angle I don't know why I just thought he was cute that way there we go that cute okay and then the last thing I did was I put the little sentiment um, just swinging by to say hi and um, I also added some of those leaves on there. So I'm going to just take, and I am going to use my two and three eighths inch punch for this. So basically, I just used the bundle, memento ink, and um, some cardstock and paper. Okay. Now I'm going to punch it out before I do the leaves because I, I want to see where they're going to go and I probably need to, oh that will work, maybe just a little, cut a little bit. I forgot to pull last week's card, I even forgot what we did last week, but in, during the month of April I'm sharing 
um, fun folds. Okay, now I'm going to take my little leaves and just kind of fill in some of that white space. Whoops. That'll work. Okay, so let me wipe this ink off of here so we don't get ink on there. And then since I have this dimension here from the, the little um, monkey, I'm just going to put the sentiment in there flat. If my adhesive wants to work, there we go. <laughs> She's tired too. <laughs> and I wonder, it doesn't matter. I was trying to, trying to, but it, it won't matter because it's not going to show. Jeez. There we go. And you could still write your name or a message on here with, um, you know, a darker pen. But that's a fun fold. Isn't that fun? Um, and I think right now I'm going to go look for my um, eclipse glasses. Um, but then I think I'm going to make one like I mentioned earlier. I'm going to try and make one with our coffee set. Excuse my arm again. Because I just think it would be so cute um, to put the little coffee pot in there like it's with the wobble. Like it's pouring coffee. I don't know. So I'm going to try and make one of those and then I'll post it later. Um, I meant to do that last night just to have an extra sample, but like I said, I had to go um, take care of grandkids. And it looks like I used, instead of the granny apple green, on this one I used the, um, what color? These are the brights. It worked. Lemon lime twist. So it's a little lighter, but it goes. Um, so this, you know, I've got the screw up on the back and then I picked the wrong paper for the inside, but it looks fine. <laughs> the lemon lime twist goes great with the granny apple green. So those are cute. I think I'll send those to, um, a couple of my grandsons, give them some happy mail. Um, here's another card. I meant to go through my card boxes and look for, um, all my monkey cards, but here's one that I received as a swap from Renee Lozano. It's really cute and it opens somehow. Um, if I can figure it out. I think I glued it shut because it kept flopping open. Here we go. Here we go. Wait a minute. What did I do? There we go. That's a fun fold too. But there's the little monkey with the banana. And then you open it like that. And there's that other monkey. Isn't that cute? She did a lot of work on that card. It's a lot of coloring. I love it. She used a lot of the images from the set. So anyway, the little monkey goes away um, while supplies last. Um, the sale does start tomorrow. And um, thank you guys for joining me. Hey, Terry. Um, Cat loves the um, wobbles. Cat Mahon, I I want to see you make one with the full size. Make one and show me, because um, I made these. Like I said, they're a little smaller, um, but I think they're cute, really cute. So um, you guys enjoy your day. Um, stay safe. Happy stamping, and we'll be back next Monday with another fun fold. Um, also, if you're in Kansas City area, don't forget today is the last day to sign up for my Thursday card classes. I, I threw the samples somewhere and I can't find them now. Um, everything goes wild. Here they are. Today is the last day. So I have time. Tomorrow I will spend 
cutting kits, but these are the cards we're making, kind of some April showers cards. So you guys enjoy your day and we will talk soon. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.